Hey dreamers, it is time for the last video of the Secret Santa series 2023. And in this video, I'm going to walk through of all the latest things that I've been added, um, basically of the recording, um, because like, um, well, um, the deadline that I had to deal with. Um, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to like, walk through the whole creation not just what only did last uh like in the between the last video and now but uh also i'm going to like walk through a little bit of like the whole creation what we have made uh with this uh secret center event and uh at the final part so i'm going to edit this video in the end of the video i'm going to do um not a comparison but just want to show you where this uh, card is based off. Um, I'm going to say specifically it's not a comparison video because um, A, it's not fair because the person that or like the creation that I saw as a reference is from a Dreamscom event from a few years ago. Um, so that is already like like way long ago and also the um, the creation itself is a little bit lower in graphics because of the thermo we were not only we were only allowed for 10 percent graphics thermo in our boots uh, in our booth um not boots but booth um so it's not going to be in comparison video because that's not really fair to uh to the person who made the original creation so not a comparison video but i'm going to show you still what uh where the idea came from basically if you still do not know this person i doubt it because like if you i mean you should know this right um so what we have done basically i'm just going to start straight um with what we basically built first and that was the car the car was basically the main thing that i wanted to go for that was the first idea um i really love the kart uh, race game or stuff that, uh, that he was working on uh, i still don't know if, if it actually came out or not <laughs> i couldn't find it on the dream reverse so i'm not sure if it's already out or not um correct me if i'm wrong because i kind of would have played it um and why not play it to be honest um but the card was really one of the things that i want to recreate in dreams as an ode to uh to this person it's not a secret anymore it's piece of craft if you still do not know uh shame on you you should know it um so piece of craft um has some other lovely creations as well but um i thought this was pretty much iconic that uh, that he made and i kind of want to like recreate that in dreams or at least try to recreate it in dreams um as an ode to their lovely creations in general uh so that's what i did um and so that was like the first basically the main thing that i wanted to make in dreams it was out of sight of my comfort zone i never made a car before in dreams uh so it was really like i've never so done something like this so i want to do this um and then i decided to to like to think of like what do i want with this creation Am I only going to do a showcase or just like the car itself as a present? Um, and I thought like, yeah, that's not really not that's not enough. And then I thought maybe I want to put uh, or maybe I first was thinking of a mini game, like a racing mini game. Uh, <laughs> uh, out of this, I really thought that was fun to do. But then I was like, yeah, that's maybe a little bit too ambitious. So I'm not going to do that. Then I decided in the very early stage, you can like, uh, yeah, you probably have seen it already, but uh, then I thought like, maybe I'm going to put it on a, a racing track and with some camera angles um, that you can also walk around the whole track and around the car. That was my first uh, actual uh, idea that I had with this creation. Sadly, along in the process that I was building the cart, I was like, uh, I don't think I can manage to do it on time with the time limit. Um, I mean, like two weeks is pretty well, not enough for for like an event like this. But um, you always, I always want to <laughs> like to go too ambitious with stuff, right? So 
I always wanted to go to to notch to nuts on this and I'm like yeah that's maybe not not great either because like if I'm going to put it on a track and if I'm also going to make that the person is going to walk around in it because I always want to do that with uh with creations like this that's not like only like cinematic but also that you can actually just like inter uh, not interact but like walk around in it so that was that the, the idea and I was like yeah if I have to do that on a track that means that I have to build everything around it so also the track itself the trees the the, the curbs um, the surroundings i have to do that all in one single scene and if i'm also want to keep the, the the graphics as high as possible that means that i do not really have much to work around with and i was like and if i also in 360 degrees around and where am i going to put the wall where the player cannot go further because it doesn't mean that he has to walk through the whole, the whole track or not that doesn't make any sense so i decided like halfway through the when i was like making this uh creation i thought yeah that's not maybe a smart direction to go for uh not for the time that i had and also not realistic to for myself to build so i was like i'm not going to do that i think maybe in garage which is a closed uh area i thought maybe that's way better even though it's still a lot of work for me personally because like i'm a slow sculptor <laughs> um, but it's like it's still like of course like work that needs to be done but at least i have more focus on the car itself and put the quality as high as possible that i can do in dreams and so that's why i decided to make the garage instead of the first ideas that i had before when i was starting this creation that's why oh that's why i made the garage instead um even though the center point is the car so the center point is the car that's why it's standing on in the garage with the garage door and uh, so I build that slowly up um, on piece by piece. So first I did the cart, and then when I finished, I put then like the whole surrounding that I thought, okay, this is something that I wanted like this. Uh, I designed it the um, the tables, so I wanted to have like some working space here, a long like a long table basically, like two tables, uh, but pretty long. So these are all the working stuff uh, where you can do. Um, and then I like, was like shaping and forming it in the way how I had eventually visioned it. Um, in the very first stages, uh, you can already also, if you have seen, you probably have already seen it, maybe not. But very in the early stages of this creation, I put some placeholders, uh, which means I put some random blue uh, shapes in the scene uh, that I think, okay, I want to have, for example, a chair here, like standing on the floor or I want to have a television on the wall, or I want to have a clock on the wall, um, and so forth. So I put some like random, really quick shapes here and there, so I know where I want to go with my creation, and then I'm going to reshape um, with actual sculpting around it. Um, I'm not always doing it this way. Normally I'm going completely out of my head and completely like blank and uh, just do it by how I feel I'm going to do it. But I thought if I want to be um, as most efficiently with working uh, with the time and stuff like that, I had to do it like this. So I knew exactly what I wanted. And um, there were a few things that were maybe a little bit too ambitious. And it was not only the card, but it was also the dartboard. The dartboard was maybe a little bit too ambitious for me to put it in there as well. But I really want to put it in there because like I never made a dartboard too, and I thought it was fun to have it in the garage. Uh, I don't know. It, it, I thought it was fun. Uh, it doesn't really have anything to do with the car, but I thought it was fun to have it in the garage. So, but that was like really, it was like really like an maybe too ambitious one because like I had some. Well, well, you have seen it probably. It was some challenge in the beginning because like I didn't really have great with uh, the grid and stuff like that but i managed it it's it's done so <laughs> um but yeah there was like a huge challenge for me to get the dart uh, board done in the way how i wanted that to be um so 
what we did uh, further on was designing the like desk basically what, what what do i want to put on the desk like i cannot make put two desk and have nothing on it right and i had to put something on it to make it a little bit more feel alive um it looks very clean it's a very clean garage <laughs> i mean mostly garages are like super messy and like stuff everywhere I couldn't do that because I don't have the graphics thermo for that to do something like this. But yeah, if I if I had like the, the more graphics thermo like left, then I could definitely make it more messy around it and make it a little bit more like it's uh, it's an old garage. But I thought like the the cart is already very clean and the whole art style was very clean. So I was like, yeah, it makes sense if the garage is also going to be clean. So that's why I did it in that particular way. And I did it also with the the with the desk, basically, where, like, the, the stuff I put on. Uh, I already explained this, um, I think, in the, in, the, in the last video. But I put some stuff on the, the desk for, like, parts of the cart. So it looks like, oh, here I'm going to... Or here is the person designing the cart and putting everything together. Uh, or this, uh, something like that. So that's why I put it over there. And um, I also added some blueprints, or not really blueprints, but like paper on the on on there. And then like some text, I put it there. Uh, some random painting. <laughs> I didn't really know what the paint on is. Um, so I, I painted like, uh, I don't know, some random, random stuff. I did the same with here as well. So just like it feels like there is something at least on it. What else did I do was I designed a few tools uh, that I still could do graphics thermal wise. These are not the best ever looking sculpts for tools, but um, I really wanted to have them anyways because like I thought it was it was it was needed. I it was so clean. Um, there was like nothing here, and it didn't really felt right to keep this uh, empty. Uh, even though I put it in there, like buy new tools. Um, sorry for my handwriting, uh, but uh, but like buy new tools. So like, okay, that's maybe a clever way to say like, okay, I don't have the tools yet, so I have to buy it. But no, I still had to sculpt a few stuff um, to actually um, to make it feel a little bit more that there is still there hanging something um, on the wall for the tools. So that's what I did with those things we um of our i did also the um, the screen i already showed you in the last video how that works a little bit so if you want to know how this is working check out the previous video if you have not seen it yet um i placed here some blueprints or like an, an, an yeah and stuff where you i don't know what's called in english but like basically where you can cut things out and like um draw on it um so that's what we put it in here so that desk also feels like there is something there the statue of course uh when it's spinning around with the lighting with the proper lighting uh, reflection on the walls uh that we did and also i fixed the um, eventually the clock that we added um a um the clock itself is not fixed because, like I said here, it says it says in the description, fix the clock in the to-do list, um, and that perfectly makes sense because the clock is not working. <laughs> um, so the clock needs to be fixed. That was the 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 joke behind it because, like, I didn't really want to uh, do this, <laughs> make a whole working clock because, like, uh, then I need to do a lot of like gadgets and. Uh, and stuff like that to, to make it actually work and I, I mean like I could very do simply with like um, with keyframes but um, now I, I had an idea of like I, was, I had a clock once that was not working anymore my batteries were I don't know it was I think it was like my batteries were like empty and um, but the um, the second like the the, um, the pointer for the seconds uh, was like still stuck so he wanted to move but he's still stuck and I remember that still as a kid but all I was put it in there as uh, for fun <laughs> um, but that one we did uh, designed the clock a little bit just a simple clock design because like graphics thermo had to be very low as possible and still looks uh, uh, okay um, then we did the um, 
Well, there's not really the, the right order that I did it, but like uh, I added also some to sit on. Very simple design as well. Very simple design as well. Um, so you can you know, basically sit here and then like draw and stuff like that. I do see uh, that I made a mistake here, but I couldn't fix it anymore because the deadline was already over. And uh, eventually we placed, of course, these racks on, against the wall for all the storage for the big wheels <laughs> on there and other uh, random stuff. We did the traffic cones, um, not Connie, but cones. Uh, we added uh, in the scene. Um, I reused some assets that I already have made, not in this series, but I made this before during a Cyber Street series on YouTube that I never used uh, in my creation before. So I thought this was a perfect way for it to fit that. I made something similar in the Dreams uh, Secret Santa from last year. Uh, that one I did uh, from scratch again. But now I just like, reused the asset that I already had before. The garage door, of course. Um, very simple one. Uh, I wanted to make it closed. I first had maybe an idea to also that like was going to be open and closed. But again, no time for that. Snowing. I had snow effect as well outside. So um, as you can see, there's like snow happening outside. Um, because like it's Christmas time. So um i thought like it was a nice touch uh, to add there but also the cables in the distance so you have the feeling something is outside um so that's what we did and also we added some other random stuff it's not so much uh, it's, it's very clean but simply because i didn't <laughs> have the graphics term anymore and if you uh, maybe heard already uh, a little bit here and there but i also added some sound effects uh, that cars are driving by and a motorcycle from time to time uh, randomly um so you have the feeling that outside there is still traffic happening um it's very soft so it's you have to be listening very carefully it's very soft because like of course the walls are damping the audio uh, at least that's what i try to recreate um so you, you still hear the autos passing by but in a little bit of a distance um and that's basically overall what we did um in the um, basically from the last video till this video i also uh designed the lamps on the ceiling uh with the cable going there um so that will be added as well uh, to for the finishing touch and that's basically what we did. I made the door. We made some Christmas decoration here and there to make it a little bit more feeling that there is Christmas. It's very like minimum. I know I'm aware of that. It's not very like Christmas Christmassy with a big tree or anything like that. I could have maybe made a big tree standing here. That is a missed opportunity if I have to be honest. Uh, I could have like like basically cloned this, make it bigger and put it in here. <laughs> I could have done that. I don't know why I didn't do it because like, but also the reason why is because like I already did it last year. I may already make a last year and like a big Christmas tree with decorations in it. And I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do it the same with this one as well. Um, so I made some tiny little Christmas tree. I thought it was cute. And um, yeah, the television, of course, saying Merry Craftmas and saying Merry Christmas because the Craftmas is of course aka piece of craft i thought it was like a funny work word joke in there uh i have sometimes dad jokes so yeah maybe it's a little bit cringe but <laughs> but deal with that because like i'm sometimes like that i sometimes like i really love to like do word jokes from time to time uh, <laughs> so, so it's probably very cringe but i thought it was funny um i don't know um so yeah that's basically uh, I think pretty much it what I did between the video from last video and now of course the decorations of the Christmas here and there uh, added uh, that's something that I still did um, and that's I think everything um, yeah so oh yeah there is more but at least from the creation side that's basically everything what I did um, there's something else what I made but that I have to show you um 
after I'm done with showing everything, I'm always I'm already done. By the way, it's almost uh, done. But um, I edit a cinematic intro uh, because I didn't have the element of surprise anymore. Where am I going to start the character? Right, that was my like my whole point because like I want to that the person is like not going to see the card straight away um so how am i going to do it that it's still like an element of surprise as to keep it in the end and i thought what if i make an intro with camera and uh music and um and then like teasing maybe there is a card happening so i did still tease some parts of the car but you cannot see it in full because then you need to play it eventually and walk around to see it. Um, so I thought that was fun. So the intro, it starts with the dartboard. And then it goes, uh, I believe, to the clock uh, very randomly. And then it will show um, like a little bit of like stuff that's on the desk. Then it's like it's doing a tiny reveal of what the creation is actually about and that is the car itself um but you're not seeing it in the in the intro shot but just only the wheel and a little bit of like the side wings uh here and there so it's like you will see it soon and when the camera eventually uh goes away from like the the, the tiny shots of the car it zooms in on the garage door and then some text is popping on like the garage door and there is like basically you can select like explore showcase or just leave the creation um that's stuff that i added uh between the last video and this one um to have a little bit more a little bit more interactive not as much but a little bit more interactive that's basically what it is so i think that's pretty much it so i'm going to show you now the intro and after the intro is done i'm going to walk around with the creation a little bit and then i will put in um like another screen adding to one of the sides in the uh, and then you will see where the idea came from um, keep in mind it's not a comparison video because i want to say that very loud and clear because that is not very fair and um, a, a, a truthful to uh, to the original uh, creation. Because like it is not a comparison. Um, because I don't think that's fair at all. Um, I already explained why. So I want to say that again because like it's not a comparison in the end. But I still want to show you where this where this card is basically based off. Uh, that I still want to do in the end. So. I'm uh, enough for to talk, uh, enough talking. <laughs> I'm going to show you the intro. Then I'm going to play. Uh, I think I'm going to play then the explore mode. Um, mm, no, you know what? Um, what am I going to do? No, I think I'm going to show you the intro. Then I'm going to show you what I am talking a little bit to Ben about the showcase stuff. Uh, what I've been doing with the showcase stuff. And then after, I think I'm going to do then the explore mode and see then the where this creation is based off. I think maybe that's the correct order. Um, so yeah, um, or maybe can I already maybe do it right now? But then you're already seeing the intro. Um, no, okay, okay. I can I can of course never mind. I can't already do it. Okay, so okay different plan uh, it's just like me every time okay different plan at first i'm going to show you the showcase because like if i press circle right now i see this uh, the audio is a little bit louder because every time you go back in the menu uh in the main menu sorry uh then the audio goes a little bit louder first of go first of all i'm going to show you the, sh the, the showcase so we have here explore showcase and leave so you can select uh, which one you want to do and uh, leave is of course if you're going to go <laughs> out of this creation but the showcase one is basically different camera angles that i placed around the car around this whole area mostly around the car but also a few here and there uh, somewhere else 
because I don't know, I thought it was fun for I don't know, arts, arts like <laughs> for art reasons. Uh, you can either do it manually by pressing left and right button, or like yep, like go back and forth uh, to go for different shots that you want to see from the car instead of walking around. If I press triangle, uh, you get like all notifications saying auto play is on. Um, it is working, but you have to wait a little bit, a few seconds. I think it's 15 seconds till it goes to the next scene. So every 15 seconds, it's jumping. I'm not pressing any button right now. So like it's automatically jumping to the next scene, to the next scene, to the next scene. So it's like it's looping at the point of looping and it loops again. Um, but if you don't want that, if you don't want to have that the the, uh, that the, the screens are auto playing, I can press triangle again and then the auto play is off and then the, the camera will stay at the point where you want to have it. Um, so you can like pick an, like a random um, spot that you really want to have for your camera, for example here, then it stays like here forever. Uh, unless you're pressing uh, either triangle to auto play uh, the slides again or pressing circle to go back to the main menu. Um, so basically, that's what I made um, during the last video until this one with the showcase version. So now I'm really done talking. Uh, so enough talking. <laughs> let the games let the, let the games talk. <laughs> no, I'm not going to go there. Um, let the game do the talking. No, um, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to show you the intro. And then after the intro, don't go away yet. Don't click the video away. But after the intro is done, I will walk around the scene in explore mode. And then you will see also uh, in a split screen where the idea of the card came from. Um, so you know a little bit, yeah, where is this based off, basically. So um, for now, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching and enjoy um, the final result that it's now out there in the dreamiverse in the secret santa community event Bayada in 2023 um collection so check that out check yada's creation um check yada's uh, profile go there uh, also check her creations by the way if you, have, if, if, if you have not done that yet but check out the community stuff that other people have made for each other uh, so go check that out Check her YouTube uh, to Twitch channel uh, to see uh, well, she's basically streaming uh, what everyone has made for each other. So uh, it's really fun to see uh, very cool stuff that people made. So thank you so much for watching and enjoy the intro. Bye bye.